So yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course I'm back with really quick. Of course, of course, poggers. Uh, only one go video. See how that, of course. Sorry about um again being where we this day. I don't care anymore at this point though. We got new news, new stuff for Pokemon Go. Um, so tired, so sleepy. You just I'm all over the place right now though. But yeah, though. I'm gonna record this way, way, way earlier. But yeah, though, of course. Yeah, sorry if the music too loud or not. I just kind of put on whatever. I was like, I just had the music going from the last video I did. And I had a Metallic Madness good feature from Flag CD up. So I was like, eh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it though. I don't mind. But yeah, though, of course, we got new news, new stuff, a lot of good stuff for Pokemon Go. We got a couple new shines in the game. Oh my gosh, Shiny Zerny is coming to the game. We already knew that. Oh my gosh. You know. You're free now. Yeah. I got pretty much everything coming for this video. Gonna, of course, edit it really fast. Then I'll blow it really fast. You guys already know I'm gonna go and everything. Of course, though. But yes, new news, new stuff. I'm so tired right now. I'm utterly, utterly, utterly crazy. But yeah, though, of course. We yeah, had a Discord call with some of my friends, so it was just going to say I'm gonna go back in there. I just gotta make sure I get this done, though, of course. I see I've been streaming on Twitch a lot, too. That's been taking up a lot. Kind of my time a little bit though, so I'll link this all around me. Um, you know, I'll go put it down here or whatever. Or wherever I put it, choose to put it when I edit it though, of course, though. But yeah, of course, um, just a lot of, um, this is actually not that bad though. Um, Pokemon spawns is like, it's some of the future spawns we've kind of already gotten from kind of this year and last year, I want to say that. I don't ever really know what to pick up with these spawns though. So it's kind of, it's just feel like the stuff we had from the last couple of months, like Psychic like Spectacular, Halloween, of course. Um, you need like just I just random really weird them spawns. And these just, I, I already have everybody I really don't need to do any of these events anymore. It's just I have everything already pretty much. So I was like it, I'm just grinding candies at this point. That's pretty much what I what everybody does with Pokemon Go at this point. Just grind candies. It's events done. All the cool stuff though of course be yeah, go ahead and get it started though of course. Oh be yeah, there. My video still going? Alright, perfect. But yeah of course so go ahead and get started though Pokemon Go. So we're going to have the Evolving Stars event, which actually brings a new Cosminium uh, Pokemon, which evolves from Cosmic. It actually does evolve into uh, the two, other uh, two other forms. You guys see up there. I'm going to go over that really quick. Uh, so it's for easy to play Sun and Moon. Um, Cosmic does evolve into Cosminium. It kind of just sits there and sleeps, sleeps in the middle, but its outer shell looks very similar to the two legendary Pokemon that are in that game. Is it familiar? We don't know. But yeah, just in case if any of you are new, you guys probably don't know, you don't play Sun and Moon. But a lot of people would probably, didn't, would probably skipped or probably didn't play Sun and Moon. Which, again, if that's your thing, that's your thing. I don't mind that. If you skipped it, you skipped it. It's your preference, whatever level, of course. We have Cosmo going to, um, oh no, actually, the Volume Stars event. Um, we'll have, it'll start from October 5th to uh, do the 11th, um, 10 a.m. local time, 8 p.m. local time. So whatever time it is for you specifically, that is your local time. For me, it is 6, 20, um, 8 a.m. That's my local time. Boom, there you go. Um, but yeah, we got a new Pokemon debuting. We have Cosmuck that involves into Cosmic Minium, which will, you know, probably get plus of research and missions. They said that every few, probably every few, like, you know, it's like the Hoopa, like, last year we had, like, every, we got Katie's for it. We got, um, Hoopa itself. Makes sense. We got Shiny Zernius coming to the game. That's not really surprising there. We already knew it was coming to the game anyway, because it was already featured in the October, um, leaked and stuff like that. Like, the, the October graphic for Pokemon Go, which they had been doing that. And I like that though, so you don't have to, um, I guess, rely on leaks like that anymore. Which just makes it, I mean, it makes them a lot more faster and easier though. But the, I also love the um, Legends graphics as well though. Always looking below though. I haven't been doing that last couple of videos just because I've been utter laziness and I feel like it's like, yeah, you guys. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, some people would legit don't, you know, know what to stuff for that though. But yeah. Stop. Stop. Um, yeah, we already knew about Zion Journey. It's um, Journey. Yes. Shiny Journeys. Shiny Journeys. We already know about that anyway, though. So I like Shiny, though. It's, it's lighter blue on the top, but it's white, well, um, white bottom. Kind of, yeah, because, you know, it um, has a black, black coloring color on the bottom, while the top is more blue and yellow, which in the games is just like pure blue. I guess it gets kind of lighting right or whatever. Of course, Willow, 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 our boy, give it his new part for the, um, the story, I'm um, sorry, of lights. Um, Season of Light is going to use new, um, research. So basically, when you tap on it, when you tap on it in the, um, uh, field missions like the um, longer mission like the very very end you'll get that um, unlocked and everything so you can do that um get cosmediums probably candy and of course evolution and stuff like that again they did it for hoopa you can change it to his unbound form and inbound form um unbound form and you can change it back when they feel like it just you know. but i'll be like giving this unbound form which i like that too though because again regular hoopa is just like it's good but it's like i like his unbound form a lot better well i suppose we'll have combi we'll have um pidgey um pidgeot uh worm no worm pool um Poly, the poly, Polyraph, Polyworld, with those, family line, whatever, same thing. Other uh, exam, yeah, some secondary evolutions. Yeah, Rhyhorn, these ones are rare ones, you can't really catch in the wild. 
like that. You can though, but they're really rare. Um, they had no really rare ones in the back either. I'm shocked. I think it's the only first event to ever really do that. Then I go back to like my 500 videos later. Um, Horsey's Evolution, Rhyhorn, uh, really good for community day Pokemon if you haven't gotten that already. Um, Haunter, Alakazam, um, Alakazam's, um, Kadabra. Um, Scyther, we have Eevee, some of our friends love Eevee, Eevee's. Uh, Swine Up, Ralts, Duskull, Tynamo, Liquid, which is literally about to get a community day in October, so yeah. And, um, Elios, we have, once our raids has, um, um, Slowpoke, Onyx, um, Scyther, uh, Polygon Z, um, Sun Girl, I can't remember. Make sure we'll have Magne um, Magneton, um, Rectozone's, um, Evolution Line. Uh, Rockwood's evolution line, secondary evolution line, Swan Up's um, secondary evolution line, Apollo Spine, and Tokatik, which can go to Tokatik. Research will have Stardust, Evolution Stones, and Mega Energy. I like that though. We'll have um, a Gyarados Raid Day, which will be 2 p.m. to um, 5 p.m. local time, pretty much community day, um, stand community day stuff. Uh, community day standard times, which is, I don't like that at all. They should, they should be back to 11 to 5 p.m. I, I did not mind that time. I don't care. I let the, it let the whole entire day good. Just let it last the whole entire day and let everybody get all their spawns, all their Pokemon, all that stuff. Let everybody have fun on the community day. That's my preference. Just go all out. Do what you can. Just literally just let us, like, just all day. Just let us do community day all day pretty much again. I do miss those times, though, because, again, I know it lasts, like, a long time. It's, like, gone forever all day. But I feel like that was a little more fun than just 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. or 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. That really wasn't. I liked it the first time, but after a while, I was like, "Yeah, you guys can make this way better." Like again, this year Pokemon Go events been really shortened down. I guess to have more in the game, which doesn't that doesn't bother me. But it's like we always use the same spawns, the same stuff. Again, that's pretty much Pokemon Go. Right there, but I get that, but it's also yeah. We'll have, um, five rate, get five rate passes pretty much a day, I believe. So, you know, we spend a stop, we come with rate passes. Whatever gems, where you do raids and stuff like that, yada, yada, yada. You have a chance to get Shannon Gyarados. Um, it looks like, oh, yeah, it's guaranteed, though. So, yeah, Pokemon Allow. Oh, yeah, so we have a great cup, though. Oh, uh, Pokemon Go Battle League of Evolution Cup. So, it's uh, from October 16th or 13th. Pokemon Allowed. Only, only Pokemon that have uh, evolved once and can be evolved again will be eligible. Pretty much secondary evolution, pretty much. That'll be out from October 6th. Uh, 8 p.m. PT, PDT time. I think it's yeah, Pacific downtime. So 1 p.m. Pacific downtime. I think it's 1 p.m. regularly for everybody. Um, be, the, the, the CP limit will be 1,500. Uh, we have um, a couple more new things here. So from September 27th to October 8th, we have Mega Lopini Rays have a chance to be shiny. I think that's new, I believe. I don't, don't think originally it had a chance to be shiny, so now it does. Uh, or I think it's just back, just in general. We, Mega Lopini has already been in the game. I think Shane's already been in the game already. I don't know. It's been so long now, but whatever, whatever. Um, if it has a new Shiny debut, has it? I don't know. Uh... Um, yeah. October 8th through 20th, we'll have uh, Mega Matrix. They'll be back. Or has a, or has a Shiny in the game. Uh, Yvelle told me will be on the 27th through, uh, through the 8th. Um, five stars with the Shiny debut. Same goes for, um, October 20th through the 20th. We'll have, um, same for, uh, Xerneas though. So yeah, these two Pokemon don't even have those. So these are really good because these Pokemon never ever ever really come back though. I'm not gonna be shocked if this year in December we get um, another Sword and Shield event um just to celebrate, you know, uh maybe like um maybe Journey's ending. We'll probably get something like that because we had that with the um Devon Pro games. I thought like we'd get like an end like journeys like you know in, in Japan probably. We'll, we'll probably get that like an event pretty much to end off Pokemon Journeys because that anime is probably gonna I like it's, it's wrapping up pretty much soon because we know Scarlet and Violet's gonna come out with the anime and everything though, so I just wanna make sure for that though, of course. Uh because we already know this game. They're stalling out um Sword and Shield, the anime to make the go for Scarlet by the anime part of the mirror. And the same thing the games do because they pretty much did that. Like the game came out and like, the anime came out a week later. Something like that though. Um yeah we have a new collection challenge. Um we have four collection challenges. Focuses on evolutions. Okay that's pretty good though. But yeah not bad for the event this time around. It's not bad it's not a bad event though. Two new shinies um, some decent spawns here and there, like Dusk Gullicans are really good one for the end of, uh, for community days. Um, um, Gengar's Evolution Day, so you yeah, got some good community day potentials in here though. So we evolve it in the end of year or a specific day, community day, classic community day when it comes back. I think December's the last classic community day, I believe, or November, I think November, at least the classic community day. It is every, like, I think every few months though. You know, this is stuffy. But yeah, not bad for the event and everything, of course. But also for Cosminium, this is Cosmux Evolution, right? The first one you get in the game. This is, um, it's secondary evolution right here. And then when you get to, um, 
Cosminium. You guys are about to Sogaleo or Lunala. In the games, you could do that. So if you have Pokemon Sun, you would get Sogaleo. You have Pokemon Moon, you get um, Lunala. I feel like you probably could choose, but again, you could definitely tell it's like it's a, it's a combination of both because it has like their patterns and stuff like that, of course. I know it looks like a lot more like Lunala though, but again, you, like, you got either about to either or that. It'd be cool if you can do that. I think you have like your French trade you want, and you can like Sogaleo or Lunala. That would be honestly awesome though, but a lot of people will be doing that regardless though. But. Yeah, like I have a Silk Leo and all the people will be trading it back and forth, getting shiny and stuff like that. But yeah, but it's a free Pokemon though, so you know, every other moments can be doing that anyway, though, regardless though. But yeah though, um, but again, the video of sure though, um, didn't need to make it that long though. But yeah, not a bad, not a bad event. Got some good shinies, good spawns, good stuff overall, and not a bad event. And the event's been pretty good for Pokemon Go. Might be not that much, might not be that much for everybody else, but these little events like this, again, in general, Pokemon Go, they're doing pretty, I feel like the last three, two events have been pretty good though. I feel like I can keep going on a good roll with this though. Again, very short, very simple, and very easy. Again, it, this one's focused on mainly evolution stuff. So you got evolve a lot, uh, you can look more XP. Uh, when it comes to you know, uh, ev evolution um, days, you always want to do those. So get Lucky Egg, all the Pokemon in day like that. Typical, typical Pokemon cut stuff. But yeah, though, um, have a very good time doing this video. Not bad though. Simple and easy. See you guys later though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Go ahead. I'll continue. Get on the show. Sit there. Watch out. Because all of you are out. But I'm mad. Don't be rude. Ain't too great. Gotta get going. Let's go. Show up for the Discord. Socials. Every freak aware. I tried to do it all in one breath. That was not fun. So like I think about all those of course, like, hate it again. Very simple. Very easy, like I said, though. Um, not a bad event. Pretty short. Go upload the video when I can, though. But yeah, um, not bad. It really is not a bad of an event. I like this pretty good. Uh, new Pokemon spawns, new, um, not new Pokemon spawns. Um, a few new Pokemon right here. Um, new shiny debuts. Uh, a lot of, I feel like there's a lot to do in this event. I do like that, though. Again, last two events have been pretty good. Season light has been pretty good so far. Hopefully we can keep, hopefully we can keep the momentum keep going, though. The event might be super short, like always does, but I feel like we can keep the momentum going and everything. You can't so Leo, the Lunala choosing. That's going to be crazy. I'll probably go Sucker Leo, because I have the moon game that's true. But yeah, that's my preference. What you guys get involved into yourselves? What you guys think, though, of course, together. See you guys later, though, we can